He was on the cover of Madden 12 and then seemingly disappeared. Whatever happened to Peyton Hillis? Coming out of Conway High School in Conway, Arkansas, Hillis was a bruiser. I mean, he was listed as a 6'2", 245 pound running back slash fullback coming out of high school. That is crazy. And according to 24-7 Sports, was a four-star fullback in the class of 2004 and the second best fullback nationally in that class just behind Dwayne Jones. And as a highly touted prospect, Hillis would garner a multitude of offers from Alabama, Florida, Tennessee, Nebraska, and of course, Arkansas. Now, Hillis would choose to stay home, committing, attending, and playing at the University of Arkansas. And over his four seasons at Arkansas, Hillis would pave the way for Darren McFadden to become the Razorbacks' all-time leading rusher with three straight 1,000-yard seasons from 2005 to 2007, as well as two straight for fellow running back Felix Jones in 2006 and 2007. And over those three seasons, Arkansas was considered to be one of the most prolific runners running teams in the nation, owed in no small part to Hillis's blocking and receiving prowess. In addition, over his career at Arkansas, he also rushed for almost 1,000 yards and 12 touchdowns, along with 1,200 receiving yards and an additional 11 touchdowns. And with that said, would try his hand at the NFL, being drafted in the seventh round of the 2008 NFL Draft to the Denver Broncos. Now, at the start of the 2008 season, Hillis would be listed as the Broncos' starting fullback, and throughout his rookie season showed a ton of potential and was very productive, but unfortunately his season would be slightly cut short after a season ending leg injury. And in the subsequent season, after fully recovering from his injury, despite rising to the starting fullback position and becoming the leading rusher the previous season, Hillis only had 54 yards on 13 carries for the entire season. As the Broncos offense collapsed late season and Hillis saw little to no significant playing time. That was until March of 2010 when Hillis would be traded to the Cleveland Browns and would have a breakout season rushing for nearly 1,200 yards and 11 touchdowns, which would ultimately lead him to upset Ray Rice, Matt Ryan, and Super Bowl MVP Aaron Rodgers in the Madden 12 cover vote, and eventually advance to the finals where he'd face off against Michael Vick, and on April 27th of 2011, with a 66% vote, would become Madden 12's cover athlete. Now, the next season, which was the 2011-2012 season, Hillis would struggle, leading many to believe him to be associated with with the Madden curse. And even at the end of that season of which he struggled quite a bit, Hillis stated that he wanted to re-sign with the Browns, even willing to offer a hometown discount. But the Browns never made him an offer, allowing him to leave as a free agent. And over the next few years of his NFL career, would sign and play with the Chiefs, the Buccaneers, and the Giants, before actually retiring in 2015 due to his history with concussions and the possibility of future injury. He would also claim in an interview that as far as far as NFL football goes, my heart's just not in it anymore. Interestingly enough, Peyton Hillis is now currently an actor and recently starred in a horror movie called The Hunting. 